What's up, people? It's your boy, Focus Music. And today I wanted to do a quick video. I got a series of videos that I'm going to be doing. And uh, what I want to dive into is, of course, the new portal uh, from Output. And I want to go down each of these just to kind of show you the um, way your imagination can go out. So these won't be long videos, just a little series of things that I'm going to be doing here. Uh, so the thing I'm going to start off with is vocals. And I have a vocal loop here. And the way this vocal loop sounds, just something from output uh, RK, and it says, Now I have it, and I have no effects on it. It is a natural uh, vocal, and I don't want any effects on it from output RK. So I'm going to use only the effects that are with Portal. And so. Let's dive into this, man. The first one is, um, this is Harmonic Tracer. Uh, and the way it sounds. And so, as you can see, it really dissects the, really dissects the vocal itself. And it uh, allows you to really tear it apart, <laughs> really. So, and so you also see uh, these over here. You see the pitch and the freeze. And let's see what that sounds like. So as you can see, the pitch and the, the pitch is really taking the vocal up and down. And so it's like a, it's like a, um, the wheel here, and it has all these different parts that are broke down in it. So the freeze with. As you can see, the freeze is kind of repeating the part of it. So those two together, you know that if I bring it down, it's going to repeat it. And it's going to, if I go to the right, it's going to add pitch to it. And so if I go left, which means that the pitch is going to go down. And if I go up, it's going to unfreeze it. So let's see. And so as you can see, that's the idea of this wheel here. Um, the portal itself. You have the, at the bottom here, you'll see that right to left is pitch, up and down is the freeze. And so you find these places in between here and you have the X, Y control over here and it gives you like a percentage and you can do like these places. And also I have reverse. All right, then I can add the dry to it. So if I want, if I don't want to drench this in this, I can pull this back. And I can also throw, let's say if I'm doing just a little bit here and I want to do a high pitch, not really a freeze, but I want to throw a little something behind the vocal. You see how that works? It works like that. So. Uh, let's try another one. Let's go to Distorted Voices. Now we see that up and down is a glitch. Right to left is verb crush. So I know if I go up and down this, I'm going to get a glitch effect. And if I go right, I'm going to get some kind of a verb. So let's see.
As you can see, as I go right, I get that verb, and I get the crush, right? So I'm going to pull back just a little bit. And you can also um, animate this to do whatever you want to do. You can draw it in or uh, you can set up an animate. Either way, automation, I'm sorry, automation. You can uh, auto automate this <laughs> and uh, get it all kind of different things too. And you also have to understand that you can come in here and dial in however you want to do it. Now, a lot of times, this is where I really do my... Um, settings of this because I have access to the rest of this stuff here and so if I want to I can sync this or I can unsync this right I could do um I can re-trigger it so I re-trigger this to do different times right I can also come over here gain delay now I can do a high uh, high pass and low pass now just know that the that anything that you do in here is really only going to be for the effect that um uh, portal is doing so this won't affect your actual vocal itself and so you have to make sure that you know that part of it and so these are all these different alright so you gotta know that part so let's switch let's go to another one let's go to the doubler so if we go to the doubler now we see that, uh, let's go back to the main part here, and you can go, you can toggle in between these with this little deal here. So if we go here, we know that if I go up and down the stretch and right to left is a redux, right? So uh, let's go back. Right, so I'm gonna pull off a little bit. And as you can see, as I go left to right, you'll see the uh, the mod one and the mod two. You see how it changes as I move, and so all of this plays a part in what that sound is going to be like. And so make sure when you get portal that you just go through, play around with them and see which ones are really going to be uh, beneficial to you. A lot of time, I find what I do, uh, depending on what I'm trying to get done, I usually pull back a little bit because I don't want it to affect directly what I'm doing, and I'll add some of this to it and kind of just take the presets and add some different things. So if it's me, and I'm looking at this, and I just click one. This is a vocal, this is a vocal pump. I know that going up and down is going to be the flex and going right to left is going to be the delay. So I would say. And so what I'm first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pull off just a little bit. And I usually do probably about 50 percent of this. Because usually what I wanted to do it de de determine on what I'm doing. Uh, usually if it's going to be in the main part, I don't want it to affect what I'm doing wholeheartedly. I want it to be like an echo or a reverb or something to that nature. So I would do like 50%, something like that, just to give it a little back. Uh, I just kind of play around with the reverb. I mean the reverse. And so I would probably do... 
like that. I would probably take that part, come here. Gonna be mad, mad, and then I would probably throw some uh, delay on here. Little high pass. Right, and then I would probably pull off just a little bit more. Right, and I would do that, and that's how I would play it, just to give it a little something to the track itself. Um, so that's the vocal of Portal. See you in the next episode. Peace.